In this short tutorial, I want to take a look at how we can take an, an existing animation and mirror it uh, without having a T post in the animation. So let's take a look at what we have inside Unreal. Uh, the animation I want to take a look at is the, um, the idle post that I have in a crouch state. So if we take a look at this, he is going to be in a crouch state where he is looking to the left. And that's going to be looking good when we move to the left, but once we move to the right, and comes to a stop, he's gonna pop back to the left post. And I want, want a similar one where he's looking to the right. So uh, the way to do this is by um, taking a look at this animation we have, um, cover crouch idle, this one. And we wanna make a mirror version of this uh, so we can use this inside Unreal. And uh, I've already exported this one and if the problem with this is if we go into Motion Builder and try to open this one up, cover crouch, just open it up, and then we want to try to create a control rig with that. Pick something here and make sure we have a skeleton. And it's going to come up with these uh, warnings saying that this is uh, this is not um, some of the joints are not uh, vertical and straight in the T post so this is not really gonna work uh, we could try and see how this would uh, turn out and um, if you characterize this and if you uh, create a rig for this also uh, you'll see that the legs are gonna end up really really weird uh, we can can can't really see that because we need to plot this so um, he's gonna uh, end up looking really weird um, so we need to uh, find a solution to this uh, and the way to do it is to get a t-pose and um, the easiest way I found was to go into um, my skeleton I'm importing also and first um, go ahead and export her uh, just put it on the desktop and then go to a different folder because we're just gonna need this until we have a, a, a t-pose animation and just make sure that we have import animation here so we're going to import here again and ignore that so um, this one is actually a t-pose created and so we can just go ahead and export that again uh, put that on the desktop call it a uh, root motion a uh, root uh, t-pose like that um, and Actually, now we don't need these anymore, so we can go ahead and delete them. Okay, so uh, I want to go back into uh, Motion Builder again and start all over. So just go new to this, and then we open up the T post. So that's going to bring this guy in, uh, and we're going to create a control rig, and let's pick a skeleton. That and lock that right there, and make sure that we uh, create a control rig. So now we have a rigged um, T pose character here that we can work with. So let's go ahead and save that because we can reuse this um, for later uh, if we need to, to um, mirror other animations which does not uh, initially have a, a T pose in it. So, uh, and obviously this works only if we have the same skeleton. Um, so, uh, let's call this for NB, for something like that. Yeah, I don't know, can't come up with a better name. But it's something, this file you can uh, reuse over and over again. So let's say we had to start all over again and pick a different uh, animation. We would take uh, this NB um, file, open it, and then we would import, uh, motion file import our uh, cover idle crouch animation and keeps popping up on the wrong screen we would pick merge and import and at first it doesn't really do anything uh, but we do have some some skeleton in here so what you will do here is to expand the character and you will uh, go to character settings uh, say inactive turn it you can turn this on so you can see there's something in there uh, he's sitting there and he is uh, looking to the left as you may be able to see 
so you want to mirror this now um, actually you want to bake this first on the plot this on the character so with this deselective active the, the control rig uh, inactive plot this to the control rig uh, like that so now we have that plotted on the control rig as it should be and you can see that now the legs are looking correct so uh, we can now go ahead and deactivate the control rig again and go down to modifiers and go into mirror animation uh, tick this one and plot this to character and now we have him mirrored looking to the right and you want to go and plot this also to the skeleton okay so now we can go ahead and save this as and let's call it the the cover crouch uh, idle um, mb mirrored like that and that's it we're done in inside motion builder so the last th last thing we need to do is go into maya and um, there may be uh, some other uh, way to do this but this is the way i still have uh, figured it out and um, i'm gonna take my uh, uh, export a file from uh, motion builder here and take a look at the, the root first um, because I know already now that he is supposed to turn the other way around so uh, what I will do is to take the rotate C and then turn him 180 so he is now facing the correct way the thing is now I have some rotation on my root now which I don't really want so I'm gonna go to the hip and uh, control P to unparent this one now I can go to the rotate C and zero that one out and um, <clears throat> what you actually want to do first to, is to go ahead and check the translation values up here because we're gonna need to parallel shift this in a bit so in particular we want to remember these uh, minus 20 and I think uh, this one is gonna stay where it is but minus 20 is the one you want to remember for this particular case so I pick the hip bone and shift pick the root and hit P so now he's uh, he's um, connected again um, and once you scrub the animation you will see he pops uh, to the opposite um, here and that's why we need to go into the animation graph editor and on the hip Go to the translate y i think it is yep and actually we don't really need to remember this because it's quite easy just need to put that back to the um, to the negative so move this down to minus 20 don't need to be particularly precise with this i believe so that's going to put him where he was originally uh, before we rotated him so the last thing we want to do is to take uh, make sure that we only export uh, 70 six frames and now we can just go ahead and uh, select the root and export not all but the selection sorry and we want to call that just the idle cover crouch idle mirrored and that's the one we want to import again into unreal so that's it we should be done uh, all that's left is just to get it inside uh, unreal and plug it in so um, let's do that. All right, so now we have him on the correct spot. I'm just gonna remove this and I'm gonna go and find my blend space for this example i think it's a cover crouch right and right now it has uh, the version where he's looking to the left and i'm just gonna move this over a little bit i have cover crouch mirror just gonna replace that one so that's gonna make him look to the to the right now so if we um, play this now and come into a co cover he's gonna be resting in the left and when we move to the right going to be resting in position to the right so there's a very easy way to get these uh, animations mirrored uh, even if you don't have a t-pose in your animation 
Um, so very useful, I think. I uh, hope you enjoy. Bye-bye.